Hey everybody, it's Asa Carrick, and uh, we're prepping for paint here. Uh, so we got everything done in 600 wet uh, here that we're planning on doing. Um, there's a few places like right in here that I got a little bit of pink out of my uh, paper there. Um, so I think I was just getting into this mid coat a little bit. Um, I can't see anything, so it doesn't look like it caused any issues. Um, but uh, yeah, again, that's part of the experiment here is, you know, once I'm done with this, can you see stuff like that? Uh, so 600 is done. Now we're going to go through a thousand across the board here. A thousand wet. All right. She is all done in a thousand. Um, there's a few little tiny shiny spots here and there, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's pretty good. Um, and then I went around all the edges with a gray scotch bright uh, inside here with the gray scotch bright around the back. Uh, so that's it. Um, so it's Saturday night. Um, I've been out here for about four hours doing this stuff, so I'm going to call it a night here. Come back in the morning, get all the crap out of the garage, blow it out, get the car masked up and everything, let it sit for a little while with the fan running to air out. Um, I'm going to try this trick. I cleaned off the front of the compressor as best I can. I mean, it's, it's a mess. There's only so much you can do with it, but uh, put one of these things on there. Um, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put the car yet. I'm kind of thinking here, kind of out of the way of the compressor a little bit. Um, we'll see. Um, and I did check this stuff if it was flammable. I tried to light it on fire and it, it doesn't burn, so hopefully it doesn't go up in flames. Um, I don't, didn't think it would, but I thought I'd test it anyway, because these things do get hot. Um, yeah, okay, so that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the morning, or whatever, tomorrow. All right, we're cleaning up in here. I thought I'd give you a shot of these, in case anyone was interested. This stuff was red before, so it's kind of hard to gauge. Um, this is the red makes it all the way through. It's pretty neat. You know, it fills the whole thing up. Well, that's nice. Um, and they are a little heavy. Certainly a lot heavier than they were when they went in, so there's a lot of paint in there. All right, we washed everything down in here, turned the fan on, got the filters in here. I'm going to replace these later. They got some crap on them. Um, so we'll let this dry for a little while, and then we'll pull the car back over here, get it masked up, and we're ready to go. to go. Masked up. I've wax and grease removed it a couple of times. We'll blow it off and tack it off before we start painting. Um, point out some of the things we're going to do different this time. We've got this thing covered up. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I've got the car pushed over into this corner instead of that corner. It's got a sprayer to keep the floor wet. Um, I'm going to try taking off this filter, that was one of the things people said that might be causing trash. And last but not least, I'm going to clean out the gun right before I use it, even though I always clean them thoroughly before I put them away. It should be fine. Um, and I'm going to put up some paper somewhere and spray, just let it spray out a little bit before I put it on the car, just in case, you know, there's some initial crap that comes out, because it always seems to be... The crap is concentrated where I start spraying, so you know, maybe it's got some stuff left over from cleaning or something. So all these different things we'll try. Um, temperature's nice in here. Um, it's still hot. When I put the paint suit on, I'm not going to be happy, but it's pretty good. All right, let's get busy.
got some weird stuff going on in it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, not sure if I should proceed or not. I think I'll let this dry, put one more coat on and see how it looks. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take it all off. Okay, I don't know what happened there. So I took the wax and grease remover, took all that base off. I'm going to start over again. I don't know if that was a reaction from the tack cloth or the uh, gun cleaner that I put in the gun first, but I've never seen that happen before. So we're going to try again here. Hopefully it works better this time. Funny. I don't know what's going on here. All right, well, that one, if anything, anything was worse than the first one. So, took it all off again. Uh, wax and grease removed it thoroughly. Did it with the uh, spray away glass cleaner, the ammonia-free glass cleaner. Did it with the air dryer for a while to make sure it's dry. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna stop and post the video because I don't know what else to do. I never had this before. So give it a try. a little funky but I think it's okay. I'll let it dry. Things are looking a little wonky. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's some weird stuff going on in here. But uh, go ahead and keep going see if that covers things up. I'm gonna try and cover this again and then go out a little further. to the base. I'm tacking it off with a microfiber cloth. Not of the areas that I spray. All the parts I didn't spray.
sure it's all covered. Things are looking pretty clean so far. There's a little bit of crap in it that it's hard to tell if that was from before. Some of those little nibs and stuff just poking back through. Overall, it looks pretty clean. All right, I checked coverage with the uh, gun light. Looks pretty good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do the two control coats now. And we're gonna go up to the center line there and this body line down here and try and keep the blend inside those two panels, or those two body lines. All right, let's see how it goes. I don't want to go through. up the, the uh, tinted mid-coat. All right, we're all set for mid-coat. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, so paint out to about here, here on the first coat, and then just go out from there. I sprayed up, uh, some clear on the wall over there, and a little chunk of something came out of the gun. So I don't know where this stuff is coming from, but that one came out of the gun. That was right after I cleaned it, so maybe there's a reaction between the cleaning stuff and the paint, I don't know. But I, I sprayed it a decent amount, so hopefully no more comes out.
first coat of Midco went on really well, super smooth. Let's hope the rest follows suit. I'm gonna wet the floor down again. saw that last coat I put on, I tried to turn the gun sideways a little bit and feather it out and ended up leaving a stripe down the middle, so I tried to cover that up. Uh, so this should be the last coat of mid coat here, so I'm going to take this out about to the far edge of that hood over, or the body line over there because I know I see metallics there that have fallen from all the paint. Uh, not too heavy, but just kind of take it off that way. Still just down to this body line here. I don't think much metallic got below it. for the clear. Hopefully we don't have any issues here.
That's what somebody commented that I don't have any here. That's true, but I can't blame Pops because he's not here this time. Um, clearly laid out pretty nice. It's a little dry in a few places, but pretty good. No major trash in it other than that hair. There are lots of the little things, but I don't think those are going to be any trouble to get out. Uh, I just took the light there and went over it. I don't see the blend. At least not in here. You know, out in the daylight maybe I'll be able to, but it looks it's pretty nice here. And down the sides, I don't see anything, so I think we're good. At least we'll find out when we roll it out in the sun. Uh, so we'll come back out in an hour, unmask it, and see how good the color match is on the sides. All right, see how we did. If I had to guess, I would say this is a little darker right here, but it's subtle, if it is. Um, this looks money here. I don't really see anything there. But again, you'll see when you get it out in the sun, but it looks, looks first blush looks good. This looks really good here. If you can see any color difference, I can't. Every once in a while, this camera actually catches the right color of this. It's rarely. It's not the right color. It's much deeper red than that. If you've seen some of my videos, you've seen every once in a while it shows this really dark, deep, rich red. That's the right red. This is not the right red. Um, but yeah, so here, this is where all of that black crap was, and up in here, it's gone. Um, there are still are imperfections in it. Um, you can see that's from the dimples that were way down in there, but you can't see the black anymore. So hopefully, um, when the time comes to wet sand that and flow coat it, it'll go away. There's probably some new stuff in here, but nothing like we were seeing before. The big gigantic. Yeah, that looks new right there. I don't know if you can see that black spot right there. Whatever. Um, so there's still trash in it. It's just not as bad as it was before. Um, it might just be, you know, the length of time you're spraying the gun. You know, the, the more you spray it, the more trash comes out. I don't know. Um, clear laid out pretty nice, though. Especially over here. Oh, that's glass. Really nice. Um, I matched my texture really nice here, which is pretty good. I was just looking at that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Good texture match. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna call this a success for now. Um, like I said, when we get it out in the sun, we might find differently, but I don't see anything. Um, when I was looking at the edited video, I thought maybe I could see a little something in the video, but you can't see it in person. There may be some metallics laying out in some weird way or something, but every different direction I look at it in here, I don't see anything. I think that actually worked. I'm shocked. I really am. Um, as I said in the previous video, blending a three-stage candy to me is just black magic. It's like, how does that even work? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it did. Uh, man, that's funny. But it seems like it came out good. So I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, the car certainly looks better over there than it did by far. Um, so I think that's it. I think the rest of the stuff in the car I can live with. Um, you know, maybe someday I'll get ambitious and try and take that, that hair out of that door, but probably not. <laughs> I'll probably just leave it there. It's hidden under the mirror anyway, so it may not be so noticeable. Uh, I was trying to see if the valence here... Uh, that looks like a good color match too. It isn't surprising, I didn't put any color down there, so... Should have been good. Yeah, so you can't see that transition as you go down, at least here. Like I said, it might be in the sun, you can see the metallics looking weird or something, but I don't see anything. Yeah, awesome. So next thing, I'm gonna pull these down and see if there's any crap in them. I don't know if you can see this. There's a little bit of stuff in here. The stuff on the surface is probably just from touching the compressor. You can see it's a little darker right there. If you look down in there, there's there are some chunks which look similar to the kind of crap I was seeing in the paint. So that may have been it. Um, that was on the side where the fan is. This one was in the middle. Um, there's a chunk of something there. 
thought I saw. Yeah, here maybe. That looks like it's on the surface again, but... So it doesn't look like so much was coming from the front of the compressor, but I do have a feeling this thing is kicking out crap. Um, you can see there's stuff in the tape. Well, that's where it was touching the filter there in the back, which is filthy. Um, yeah, all right, anyway, uh, that's gonna do it. Uh, thanks everybody for your encouragement and thoughts. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, next step will be flow coating. Uh, so we're done painting, painting. Like everything from this point forward should just be clear coat. Um, and as long as things go the way they've been going, I feel good. Uh, as we said before, I'm gonna do a small number of panels at a time, uh, same strategy, just try not to paint too much. You know, in that the idea of, you know, too much painting might cause too much crap in the air, whatever. Um, all right, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll uh, upload this now and see what you think.